Hello and welcome back my fellow survivors to more Project Zomboid with Chuck Miller. We're kicking off here uh, one whole day after our previous episode. We've spent a day doing a number of things at the base. Finally remembered to uh, start charging this battery. So that's been charging overnight. That is sorted. We did a few things around the base. We did get visited again. Uh, by some zombies right in our base. We were fortunate because um, we had high exertion and we were very, very tired. But um, fortunately, we were able to engage them just one zombie at a time. But uh, we've also built some rain barrel, rain collector barrels on the roof. Uh, so the next time it rains, we can hook up uh, the washing machines and start washing our clothes. I unloaded all the loot and. Um, I also built a little crate for all our garden gear. Uh, but today, we are going out on a day trip. A day trip to the zoo. Obviously a bit of a day trip with a difference because... Um, I'll just get rid of these sheet ropes. Because we are in a zombie apocalypse, of course. Uh, but I'm all tooled up. That's the other thing I did yesterday. I'm getting the M9 pistol out again today. I've got, uh, what have we got? Nine magazines, all full. Got another five box of rounds. I should just put those away. Uh, we are going to go up to the zoo, hopefully clear it out of zombies, and have a jolly whizzy time finding loads of cool loot. And let's hope so anyway. I certainly hope, <laughs> actually, uh, I certainly hope there is a gift shop as well. Right, let's get on the road not very far to um, the zoo so I will cut back very shortly once we're we've arrived at our destination okay welcome back everybody we have arrived at a fun day trip to the zoo Got a couple of the uh, staff here to welcome us right well let's get to work we've got the M9 pistol we are almost aiming at level five. Uh, let's just see how close we are, actually. Well, we've got a minute before the pandemonium starts. So we're 81 XP. And we got out the handgun, <coughs> excuse me, uh, when we had aiming level three. <coughs> excuse me. And I was a little bit disappointed with um, how effective it was or how effective it wasn't I should say so it'll be interesting to see if we see a marked difference with the handgun this gun has got a silencer on we've got five box rounds nine magazines we are hungry let's just have some ice cream uh, let's just eat all of that Let's just go around the outside and we'll take them out as we see them. Still, not really that effective. Got a bit of pain after eating that ice cream because of our bad teeth. So let's take care of that because that can affect our... Uh, aiming. Oh, didn't see that guy. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's keep going with the pistol until we get to level 5 aiming. But I was actually surprised with how little um ammo and magazines I've got. I only had uh, six boxes of ammo, but nine magazines. And we're already at the border. We've already made it along one side of the zoo. It'd be interesting to see what sort of access we have to the enclosures. Right. Not bad, but not great either. Let's just take this guy out. Uh, 
Uh, in the center, there were... Actually, I could use that flashlight. Maybe use that to build some exterior lights. A lamp post. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Okay, so it's not quite as big as I was expecting. But it shouldn't take us too long to clear out the zoo. But I think... Nice. One shot's always satisfying. Once I've got to aiming level 5, I will just switch out to our hand hatchet and really get to work. Just make sure our 6 is clear. I'm not that experienced with guns. Although, as you've seen in previous episodes, I'm a big fan of the shotgun. But that's why I um, have the zombies outlined in green. It's something you can toggle on and off in the options for um, melee and guns. Obviously, I don't need it with melee. But I do find it useful for guns. That's a big group there. See, some of the enclosures could be interesting because they're basically your high fences because you've got to, you know, got to keep the animals in. There they are. They're all coming around to see me. How close? What sort of progress are we making? Okay, well, ooh, didn't see that guy there. Nice. As you can see, even at this higher level aiming, not as great as I'd like to be. Even just, oh, there are. Yeah, they've gone through our ammo already, so I'll just take these ones that are on us and I'll reload all the magazines. As you may have seen, may have noticed, we leveled up our uh, reloading. I think it's level two now. And um, again, almost forgot to not talk over the uh, leveling up music right let's just take out this guy always take the rounds right let's reload our magazines so I'll just take a moment to do that and I will cut back as soon as I'm ready to roll okay guys I've got all the magazines loaded it turns out that um, I hadn't got through all the ammo. I'd only barely got through half of it. It's just the gun was jammed. My bad. As I've said before, it is uh, not a Chuck Miller episode unless I'm making some sort of silly mistake. Not sure I want to be using the gun in this area. It's quite heavily wooded. I'm not even sure this is the best way to go. Right, so... Jammed again. Let's rack it. Soon as... I'm level 5 aiming. I'm just going to go to town with the hand hatchet, so... Time is always against us. As you know. 
check our six. Right, a bit too close, let's just clear up with the hatchet. Chuck with his fancy moves there, right. hear them but I can't see them but I guess they'll catch up. Where are they? Hmm. I gotta say it's a little bit disappointing. I don't know what handguns are like to use in real life. Being from the UK, I've never fired a gun in my life. Wow. But uh, yeah, these handguns are not that effective. Almost aiming level 5. So it should be very proficient, really. And uh, a straight shot right in front of me. And it's taking quite a few shots. <laughs> Another axe. Do I want it? Probably not. I must have a dozen axes. Plenty of zombies in there. I need to learn the uh, key bindings properly for guns, clearly. Gun seems to be jamming all the time. It's not 100%, but it's also, you know, what is it, 80%? So the amount of time it's jamming is just crazy. Again, as previous time we got out the handgun, I was hoping for uh, some rapid progress some high skills with the uh, pistol, with the handgun, but it's a bit underwhelming again. Typically two or three shots. Oh, there we are. Nice. We've got a boost. We've got another positive trait there. Eagle eye. Don't know what that actually is. Just want to shoot a few more. See if we see a marked difference. Oh. I was a committed sacrilege. I spoke over the uh, level up music. My bad. Probably not for the... Uh, last time right we got aiming level five let's get to town with the hand axe let's really start clearing these guys out so we can actually start investigating what the loot is like here don't think i really want to spend much time looting through bodies because the only thing I'm really short of, the only thing I really need is going to be food and we're not going to have that on zombie corpses so as you can see very very effective Hand hatchet's got all of the advantages of an axe, but it's only one-handed, so it's probably again a little bit quicker than the two-handed axe, and it won't drain my energy quite so quickly as well. Right. Let's do a bit of shouting. Let's call the zombies to us, because it's we can clearly see there's not place isn't exactly overrun. So 
though I don't think we'll be finding it that bad. Right, so I guess that's the centre just behind us where all the uh, buildings are that aren't enclosures. How's the hand hatchet doing? We have repaired the hand hatchet. Probably should have had the hand axe on us too. Oh no, no, that's in our bag. My bag. It's in our bag. We're okay. Right. So we've got spiffos. There's the cafe then. Got a vending machine there. We'll check that out in a minute for some food. Just fall back a little bit because the a little bit obscured what we can see there. Almost doesn't feel fair, does it really? Should be careful to not get too confident. Arguably that is the late game killer overconfidence should be careful not to bite off more than I can chew and I should definitely be wary of the odd one or two behind us but speaking of biting and chewing let's check out vending machine, see if we've got any food. Oh, got a little kiosk actually. Uh, let's take the 9mm magazines. Actually, let's just put ammo away. Okay, so we made some progress. We've got reloading. What have we got? Level 2 or 3? I can't remember. Reloading level 3, aiming level 5, we've got eagle-eyed, we've got another positive dynamic trait, and we've almost, we are almost at 2 months, let's just not stand right in front of that doorway, right let's go back, check out the kiosk for a bit of food, <coughs> excuse me, Okay, this could be interesting. Quite a few of the mod skill books. A bit dicey. Yeah, there we go. A bit dicey um, spending too long in that kiosk thin and narrow with just one way out. My instinct did well there, huh? Maybe I should get that mod where you can uh, leap over counters. Uh, again, we got pretty crappy weather. keep an eye on how wet we get so we don't want to catch another cold third one of the series right, let's unbarricade here we'll quickly go in and see what if any food there is I think what I'm going to do is get oh I don't have a loot bag I thought I had a bag with me never mind It's a metal door. Hmm. I don't want to use the hand hatchet to break down that door because it will probably knacker a hand hatchet. So we'll have to leave that one. Let's go back to this other kiosk. Let's have a quick look for some food. A little bit twitchy. 
being in this kiosk. Let's just stand outside while we drink. Five o'clock. Getting drowsy soon. I'm not quite sure if there'll be anything in the enclosure buildings. Just fill our water. Well, at least our... There we go. Nice. At least our rain collector barrels will be getting nice and full at home. The base. Okay. Let's carry on. Oh, we got a little uh, Pony Romo franchise over here. Interesting. We'll get back to that. And that's a rifle. No, it's a shotgun. Let's take the shells. Getting soaking wet. So I think what we'll do is we will check out. Come on, I almost had that. <laughs> we'll check out the spiffos. Um, it gets out the rain. Maybe we'll find some food or some useful kitchen stuff, and then we can make. We'll take a moment to check out the map as well, I think. Yeah, we're getting really, really wet now. Oh, this weather. Is the weather always this crappy in February, March in Kentucky? I don't know. Actually, let's just check out here. Oh, wow. That is... Interesting. I did not anticipate that at all. Let's just dry ourselves off. Man, this weather really slowing us down. Getting a little bit frustrating. Have some sugar to keep us going. What else are we going to find in here? A pickaxe. Our first pickaxe. Nice. Going to put us overweight. Still quite wet. Let's just have a quick look. See what other stuff we might find. If it's worth coming back or not. I guess it's the uh, central area for the keepers, zookeepers, for all their gear. More seeds. Ah, wow, look. Yes, our first vanilla machete. Excellent. I'll definitely be looking. In fact, I might even put that on our back right away. Uh, where's it gone? There we are. That's our second machete we found in this series, but it's only our, the first one that's um, vanilla. The other one we found was a kukri machete, which is part of um, the bushcraft gear, tools and weapons mod that I've got. And we tried it, but it didn't... Um, didn't it wasn't any good, basically. We were slow. Not very good. Right. Let's check where we are on the map. There are a couple of bits and pieces here, but nothing worth making a special trip for. We've got several pipe wrenches already. Right. Uh, actually, we did search that one that was one of the kiosks right so we've got the spiffos just over there so let's carry on in that direction let's go to there we dried off a little bit now we'll be getting drowsy soon actually now it's snowing 
let's crack on and see let's do just focus on zombie clearing so let's do a little bit of shouting let's grab some more garbage bags it's going to be building quite a lot I want to build uh, two or three rain collector barrels for the roof for our washing machines pretty quiet is that the edge of the zoo there? I guess it is Wow, that is some overgrown enclosures. Okay, so not as big as I was expecting. Oh, nice. Just showing off now. Do I want to look in one of the enclosures? I suppose I do, don't I? I don't think... There's going to be anything of worth in there. At best, there'll be a crate. No, yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything in the animal enclosures. That would make sense because you wouldn't have, uh, like, you know, a place for storing stuff in there. But the only things that are going to be worth searching at the central buildings here let's see what we've got up here could quite easily sleep in one of the enclosures actually that are um, completely I mean if the gate isn't broken down you've got high fence all the way around but You'd need a tent, really, which we don't have. I do have plans to get out on the road more in the coming episodes. So, all oh, right, maybe jump. I um, maybe getting a tent ready would be a good move. Man, that made me jump. How long would it take to disassemble a door? Let's find out. It's going to get dark soon, so we should think about getting back to the car. I'm coming back the next day. don't think there's going to be anywhere to s that we could safely sleep on site. And it's, it's not that far a drive. Wow. We've got a storage cupboard. Let's get the hand hatchet. Let's get hand torch in a minute. We can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got quite a few storage areas. Maybe if we're really lucky, we'll find a generator. Let's check in here. Almost walked right into that zombie. Right. Only a storage. Am I going to find anything useful? No generator. Take the nails. Do get twitchy being in an area like this only one way get in or out not much okay right I'm gonna get back to the car there's nowhere to sleep here it's getting really dark we're tired can't really carry much but we've got quite a few promising locations to check out. 
Uh, but uh, so I'm going to get back, but back, get back to base. I'm going to get back to the car, drive home. But we'll be back very next day to continue our exploration and looting of the zoo. So I will see you guys very, very shortly. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are just rolling up to the zoo right now. Um, we enjoyed ourselves so much yesterday. We thought we'd come back for more, huh? So, got a return ticket. We are back. Let's see what we can find. Uh, when we were running back to the car uh, yesterday, zombie days, uh, there were a lot of zombies. There are about 30 or 40 between us and the exit, but we just decided just to run past them. Uh, Chuck was up super early this morning, 5.30. Uh, we took a few hours just to drop all our gear off. And we've got a survivor. Nice. And obviously Chuck, like an excited little child. Eager to get back to the zoo. Right, let's get some nice gear here. Bit of food and a map and a bandage, but we'll just grab the bag for now right well let's get back to work so we know now not to bother with the enclosures and we're just going to focus on actual buildings that is a lot of zombies as you can see right, well, we've got a nice large backpack to probably check how we're doing with our kills huh Check our six to see what we're walking into. Well, they've got a hand hatchet. Awesome. This hand hatchet, I've repaired it a couple of times. It's not going to last. So we've got a one-handed weapon. We've got a loot bag. That's a splitting axe. Okay. Not sure if I've got one of those. One-handed, I'm guessing. Right, well. Didn't make it down here. That might that enclosure might be worth checking out because it's got campsite with it, so. Right, let's quickly check the bodies. Do I have an M625? I do now, I don't know. I think we're at that stage now. I actually would take the duct tape. If the weapon isn't at 100%, probably not going to bother. Right, so we ran back down this central walkway. And this is where we saw a lot of zombies. So let's go and say hi, shall we? Again, we'll do some calling out see who comes to say hi oh that's where they all went they all went to the cafe so we've got quite a few buildings to check out here a little bit careful because again they're quite well barricaded that guy does not want to be involved Check in this what's behind me. But didn't see another entrance that we could possibly utilize to It'd be nice to drive in. And um, bring the car into the area so that we're not having to run all the way back to the car with a full bag of loot. Assuming we get a full bag of loot, of course. This is the risk when you shout. Well, 
quite a few risks really but one of them is well there's the two risks I can think of obviously brings a lot of zombies to your area but can bring them from multiple directions so you do have to be careful you've got to have your wits about you nice top yeah not really that interested in uh, looting the corpses. As he says as he then loots the corpses. Okay, those look like the toilets. I'm feeling a bit twitchy with the toilets. Last time we went in a public toilet, there was an alarm. And that would really be quite annoying if we get another one. Let's let's give let's see how fast we are with the machete. Wow. Not very. Yeah, that's gonna take some work. Got a bit of XP in it. Well, it's a good job I checked that zombie. I only got seven or eight gas cans. Oh, and I forgot to drop off my pistol. Right, well, let's put that in the bag. That will help with our uh, heavy load. Yeah, it's going to take a while. I'm still not sure if once you gain um, levels, if you do get quicker, we could be imagining it but we definitely we've got short blunt up to level three we definitely seem faster than we were so gonna take some work but I'm a big big fan of long blade machetes I've said previously for me um, they are perfect weapon one-handed So you can uh, be quite have to conserve your endurance if you're fighting a lot of zombies. So even if you're quite strong, two-handed axe will really sap your energy quite quickly. Okay, let's poke our head inside the toilet. No point. Let's grab a couple more garbage bags. No garbage candy. Almost disappointed. Let's have a bit more food. Let's get back to this main street. That's where all the interest in eye-catching buildings are. some antibiotics it's going to be difficult looking at the map might be a bit tricky figuring out which buildings are enclosures and not worth bothering with and which ones are storage buildings or cafes or something that we really want to check out right let's check this medical facility not expecting there to be anything in there actually because the last time we went in to one of these tents everything was empty oh yes wow that is a lot of rounds well I don't think well it's pretty sure that we'll be getting a full loot bag huh be nice if we can find some military gear some clothing, helmets, 
bulletproof vest. Look like a proper survivor then. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a crazy amount of ammo. That bodes well for checking the rest of the uh, tents, that is for sure. Not, can't quite remember what uh, other tents there were. There's a couple of medical ones. Well, I thought this was a medical one, actually. Wow, that's a loot bag nearly full. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. Wow, we've got enough ammo to really go to town, to start a war. Wow. That is just a crazy amount of ammo. Right, I'm going to run back to the car. Switch out our loot bag. So I'll cut back when we're back there. Okay, guys, we've already filled another bag. It is only a hiking bag. I've got a couple more bags yet back in the car, including the large backpack we found earlier in the episode. But look, in that one bag, we've got 10, 17, 21, 20, 30 boxes of ammo. And we've still got... Well, we've only cleared half of the tent. And we're going to have to... Uh, really get some sort of armory set up back at the base and yeah really really perhaps just focus on uh, guns for quite a few episodes really really just have a splurge we've got so much ammo now it's absolutely crazy right I'm going to get back to the car grab another bag and uh, yeah I think it's just crazy isn't it uh, clear out the rest of that place and then I think we're nearly at the uh, near the end of all the fun. Well, for today, anyway. Right, I'm going to grab another bag. It's a shame we can't um, drive all the way up there. Hmm, should I try it? Let's try it. There's no zombies around. We might be able to fit through. Okay, well we tried. Too much of an angle there. Right, let's grab another bag. Right, I'll cut back once I've filled another... Well, once I've cleared out that place. And we'll see how we're doing for time. Okay, guys. We were just clearing out the... Uh, well, we're just heading back to get the rest of the ammo. And would you believe... There is a helicopter. It's four o'clock. Fortunately, we're quite far out. So I guess uh, we'll just stay here and see what happens. Uh, it is day nine or ten since the last helicopter. So I thought we'd be all right. But here we are. That's put a spanner in the works. We'll see what comes our way. And we'll see how long the helicopter lasts. It started at four o'clock so I will cut back uh, shortly once the helicopter's done or if something uh, goes wrong shall we say. So I'll cut back shortly guys. Okay so the helicopter's back for its second flyover. Uh, we've had just one zombie approach the vehicle but we've got the engine running just in case. But yeah we're just gonna just gonna chill in the car and have some ice cream. We've got some more zombies coming up. Let's just check to see what's coming. Yeah, we've got some more coming up now. Hmm. I feel like I don't want to stray too far from the car. In case I need to get in and get out of here. Be nice if we it'd be nice not to have to drive away and the helicopter might do a good job of drawing out a few
few zombies that there are in the zoo. So I'm going to stand our ground. I'm going to give the helicopter a show. This is how you survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay, that's the hand hatchet con, but we've got a hand axe. Hmm, they're starting to get more. I'm getting quite twitchy now. I think I'm going to get in the car and move on. Just taking them a while to get here by the look of it. Let's get on the highway. We'll go left and we'll drive out of town. I think we'll just drive here to the crossroads. The helicopter will follow us. Maybe we can draw some of those zombies away that just got to the zoo. That is the thing with vanilla zombies, fast shamblers. Fast in inverted comets, isn't it? They, they do shamble, you think you're okay. And then all of a sudden, after a while, about 30 turn up. Just going to go in. I think this is our third flyover. So they are having a good time. I will cut back shortly uh, once it's all over. Okay, guys, it's been half an hour uh, Zomboid time since we've heard a helicopter, so I'm pretty sure that is done. As you can, you can just see here where these uh, power cables are and where the road juts. That's the edge of the new Rosewood map. That's where the map mod, which we're just going into now, overlaps the uh, vanilla original map. But yeah, there we are. Another helicopter out of the way. Did bring quite a few zombies into the zoo. We'll definitely be going back to the zoo for the next episode. There is a lot of gear there. But yeah, as I was saying, we're going to have to set up some sort of armory for all of that gear. There's a crazy amount of gear. Absolutely bonkers. Let's go this way. We'll have a little drive by our new Rosewood base, if I can remember the way. But yeah, I think that's going to have to be it for today. Quite a lot going on. And the zoo, quite a few interesting locations to look at. Didn't get into many of them, but did clear out a lot of zombies. Aiming level 5, reloading level 3. Now what is our kill count? 3,634. Now killed 13 with a car. Uh, but yeah. That will be all for today. Hope you enjoyed. Do uh, like if you did. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts, suggestions, feedback. Uh, maybe even a name for the car I'm in right now. Um, still haven't actually given this one a name. If you are new to the channel, uh, please do consider subscribing. But that is all for today, guys. I will see you very, very soon for the next episode. Peace.